Hey, hey, y'all. My name's Kiona. Welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel if you've been here before. I tend to do gaming and diamond painting content with a little more focused on diamond painting right now and soon to be more crafting. But that's another story. Today, we're going to be doing a video on Kitting Up Magic Potion by Genovia. Genovia? I'm sorry I'm butchering the name. I know I am. By Genovia Art. It is Diamond Art Club's largest diamond painting. And how we're going to do this is I got all my tools here. I got everything I need to do this. We are going to go through my process on how I kit up a diamond painting, especially when it's um, a larger one that needs multiple containers. I will tell you where to get some my containers. They come from Harbor Freight. And I have so many that I just have all of the containers sit in a box. I will link as much as I can down below. Now, when it comes to the largest diamond painting Diamond Art Club has released by area and number of diamonds, not by length, not by height, definitely, because it's only 60 centimeters in height, but it's 168 centimeters in width. But by total area, yeah, they come in two bags. We have one bag right here. We've got the other one hanging barely in camera. I have you all on my fish islands zoomed out as far as I can before you start getting rounded. That's my wide angle lens, so I can show you as much as possible with my current setup. I got everything I need, and we're going to go through the process of how I kit up. And so first I'm going to need these two separated because it has our entire legend. We have our 67 colors plus four colors over here. So I need those. I need my fine point Sharpie marker, not my ultra fine like I was using with the kit down. This is my fine point retractable Sharpie marker. So you can see that about the thickness. I'm going to use that. How I do it is I go through all of these drills and I label what number they are. So we're going to do the initial, initial, initial setup because I feel like crap today. And, yeah, and I just wanted to get a video out for y'all. I want to continue doing a video a day for the rest of December. So I'm trying to get videos out for y'all. I'm still sick. And I'm doing everything I can to get better. And one of that is resting. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this whole prep done. And I'm going to treat it like a whip and chat, but a kit up and chat. Kind of like our kit down. And when we get to where I'm actually pouring the drills... That'll probably all be time lapse, but it's gonna take a moment. It's gonna take a moment to get there. First, let's get everything in order. And how I'm gonna start that is moving the second bag of drills out of my way, set it right on my laptop. So, and then move this out of the way because we don't need it yet. That's my big basket of containers. Do not place in front of the heater. The last thing I need is them all melted. So I have as much space around me to work. Now. Normally, I masking tape these to my containers, like, so, to the top lid of my container, but in this case, I have two containers, so I'm not going to do that, and I will, unless I decide to mask and tape one of these in the bigger container, it doesn't matter, because I have two logbook, to me, these are the logbook stickers, everybody calls the little ones the logbook stickers, no, the big ones are the logbook stickers, in my opinion. That's my own personal opinion. So I'm going to keep them where I can see them. So as I go through, I can label the numbers. Now, the containers I have chosen to use is Harbor Freight. This is the container that bring, that all those little containers come in. It comes with 24 small containers and the big one. This container right here, which I forgot to clean out. I'll dump it in the trash here in a second. Make sure it's clean. This container doesn't come with any of those small containers, but it will hold 52 to 54. The reason why I say 52 to 54 is that right here, you can fit two in, but it makes the lid even harder to close. So let me hit the camera and then dump out the, you know, spare drills that were down in the bottom that I forgot to clean out and all that. You know what happens. These are the same two containers I used for the Christ Christmas celebration kit. It's like, might as well just keep them out because we have 71 colors to go through. So, now that that's started, I'm going to start with the first ring here. We'll move this off to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to label them 
Then we're going to go through and cut them. Then we're going to go through bag two. Or as we cut them, we... Ooh, no. We're going to label both bags of them. Both bag 2-1 and 2-2. And then we're going to cut them and organize them. So let's get the sticker out of my way. So it's not in my way. Ah, oh, here we go. A good example. It's going to get loud. And I apologize for the loudness of the plastic. That's not... A me thing, that is a Diamond Art Club thing. We can blame them. So eight ninety eight. Here, I'm going to bring this down so you can see better. So we had the glare of the light, so I don't know how well you'll be able to see. I need the light to see. Y'all don't really, because the camera adjusts. So eight ninety eight is 45 So all of these are going to be marked with a 45 on them. And that's how I know where they go in the order. Because I order everything by DMC. Because that's the way they order them in diamond art club any painting what i do is how they order them like this goes one to 20 or one to 71 but in order by dac so that's how i order them we're gonna need this bag later because just like shay from crafting with shay i use that to throw all my trash in it's a nice sturdy bag that holds up on its own okay 310 is 11. I'm just going to go through and mark everything at 11. So, how has everyone been doing? How is you, was your holiday? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I, again, am sick. So, I have just been sitting with pure con congestion, just hoping the day would end type deal. Before I realized, uh, I didn't even get the TikTok out yesterday. I was supposed to. I had not started the roll, nothing. I will work on that at a later time. And I, I think TikTok kind of like gets it because the way TikTok works is you can forget a day and you're not going to fall off the face of the earth. So I'm probably going to work on that later tonight when nobody's paying attention to me because I don't have to be really on camera. Just some of it gets videotaped. Okay, videotaped. Wow, how am I old using the term videotaped? 336 is 17. And if you notice, I put that one off to the left and to the right. It doesn't matter which way it goes. So I'm going to set this off to the side. I'm going to try to just minimize the amount of space it takes. Because it's huge. And go on with the next one. Here, I'll put this to my left. Move that plastic. We'll put it on top of there. Sip of coffee. <sighs> When I'm sick and I'm forcing myself, like, up and to do things, because it's a dangerous road for me. And what I mean by that is I have a bad habit of letting depression win and staying in bed. And so even when I'm sick, I don't like to stay in bed. I will move to my computer and just relax and so and force myself to do things. And I know it's n not the healthiest thing to do. But to me, it's more for my mental health. You know, I do a lot of things for my mental health. Okay. On. I just realized how far that other one is, and I kind of need to be able to see the numbers. I'm blind, y'all. I got glasses on for a reason. Okay. 3755 is 60. 602. So yeah, I don't want to be just a lump of shit like I have been all day. And that's why, you know what? I wanted to get a video out today. I am not in the mood to edit, and I need to add to the stash video. So I'm not in the mood to do all that work. And I can't do a whip and check because I have no whip right now, except for a Christmas present I'm just not in the mood to do for my cousin. And so I was like, you know what? I wanted to kit up Magic Potion because I'd like to get started on Magic Potion. So let's kit her up. And that's how you got me. Was that six? Yeah, that was six. I like to double check. Sometimes I'm like half paying attention like right now. 49. Problem is I have these plastic containers sitting here so I can't just slide it over like you would think. Oh, okay. And it's hard to see the number. 646, which is 31. Here? Yeah. Yeah, I triple checked. Triple checked. 26. 718, 36. On the bright side, y'all get to see the color scheme of this beautiful painting again, right? 
315 is 13. My right side, my cat is like, not even my cat, Michael's cat. Michael's my youngest son. He's been hanging on me. Like, he knows I'm sick. He stayed in bed with me till like 11 this morning. And 11, in bed till 11, normally, in a normal case, is completely normal for me. But with how I've been lately, where the latest I stay in bed is 10 o'clock, it's weird. Is that two? Yeah. And so, he's like laying in bed with me like, Grandma, what you doing? Why are we still in bed? Oh, you're not feeling well? Okay, I'll keep you company. Which is fine. He's grown really attached. Right now, he's in my computer chair. Because I got up and came to this chair, and he was sitting in this chair. Oh, great, it's 1.30. Sorry, if you watched me with Christmas House, you knew I had issues with that 1.30 AB. Nobody knows. If you don't know what an AB is, I know we're not, this is not an unboxing video, but if you don't know what an AB is, it is a drill with an uh, iridescent coating, and it stands for Aurora Borealis. Two strands done. I say two strands done, but I still gotta cut them out and order them. I can sit out. It's like dealing with a wonky little snake. Like like a unraveled slinky. 3860 would be 70. 334. 33, 4. 33, 4? Yeah, 30, 334. 16. 350. Total. 18. Let's mess with you. Total 23. 8. Look, it looks like an 8 to me. No, it doesn't. It actually kind of pisses me off. That's the size point. I have OCD and ADHD. I just don't talk about my OCD because my OCD is mainly just like compulsive behaviors. which is OCD, but, you know, like, eating in evens and having to have things a certain way. And I feel like a lot of people take advantage, uh, not take advantage, uh, misuse OCD, like, the definition of OCD. So I don't talk about it a lot. And with that said, we're moving on, moving on, 48. Most of this is me just talking about the numbers, trying to figure out the numbers. But... I have this problem now. So, I had four boxes worth of stuff I got for Christmas. I had a good Christmas. I always have a good Christmas. My mother likes to spoil me. I am the only girl and the baby of the family, and we don't talk about my dad. So, my mom tends to see him a lot, see a lot of things that I like. And then I got my husband, and my kids are actually learning how to be considerate. So, my Christmas is never bad. 57. Yes. Sorry, I was double checking. So, my. Christmas is never bad, but this was a particularly good Christmas because people learned that I like practical, and I got a lot of storage containers and stuff like that, so I had like four boxes worth of things if you count the storage containers because they could have filled up a box by themselves. So I've brought the storage containers and one box in so far, so there's two boxes still sitting in the living room, and my mother's yelling at me, you need to get these out of the living room. I go, it's too much. I don't have room for it. And she goes, Without missing a beat. Well, I have room for it. I'm like, nope, nope, nope. I will find a way. Just let me feel better first. Because that migraine I had on Christmas. And then yesterday I had the spurt of energy. And I overdid it. We went over to Georgia. We got some alcohol. It's bad for you. Anyway. And we went grocery shopping. And we did some after Christmas sh sell shopping at Hobby Lobby. It's bad for you. <laughs> And tractor supply, it's even worse for you. Oh, and let me tell you about the coffee shop. Uh, that's 61, right? 3818. 3818 is 61. It's hard to see because it's all bented up. So, let me get the next bag of drills. Go set up. Get the next bag of drills, and then we will talk about the Starbucks here. They tell you never leave the mic silent. That's a Twitch uh, tip for you. Never leave the mic silent. While well, a YouTube tip is pause is okay, pausing is okay, just never use um. So I use a lot of ums. I just heard jingles.
Oh, front door. That's why. Okay. So let me tell you about yesterday. The Starbucks. So, in Georgia, in the town we go to in Georgia, there is only one Starbucks. It's over by the Home Depot. We're on the hunt for propane. So, we left our small town in Alabama where we bought the last two refills of propane. They were completely out of ref- out of propane at the Walmart, completely out at the little gas station. There is no propane unless you go to the big propane company that was closed yesterday, right? 554 is 24. Okay. So, no propane left in our small town yesterday. So, we go 45 minutes to a different town in Georgia. I don't live that far from Georgia. It's a hop, skip, and a wit, jump away. 64, right? Yeah, 64. And so we go to this town, um, LaGrange. LaGrange is big enough to sit there and tell you that. You know, you can go 45 minutes from LaGrange to anywhere in Alabama and you have no clue where I'm at. It's great. Because it could be a back road. You don't know. Anywho. So we're in LaGrange, Georgia. There is one Starbucks. And that's all they have. Now. We have gone the long way so I can avoid driving through downtown LaGrange because I fucking hate it. And we went straight to the Home Depot. That was our first stop. I said no to the tractor supply to my mom. I'm like, nope, you have no need to go to tractor supply. She goes, but they refill propane. I go, no, we're going to go to the ATM, the propane ATM. If you don't know what a propane ATM is, it's that 24-hour self-serve thing from Marigas. And I go, we're going to the propane ATM. Okay? So, no. You do not need to go to tractor supply. So, she she pouted, but fine. And so, we pull up right next to Home Depot. And, like, literally, I don't even park. It's the wrong way. Space hold. Like, I don't even park. I pull up to the front. Uh, Josh and I grab the propane container and we walk over to the propane ATM. They say, no pre-filled gas available. Go inside. I'm not going inside at this point. Fuck this shit. Also, there is a sign on Home Depot's thing saying they are out of propane. Which, not surprised. Not surprised. We're talking about the coldest the South has seen in a while. Hold on. Sorry, my 12-year-old decided that he wanted to sound like a Wookiee walking through the house. And so I told him to close the damn door and get out. And so, Home Depot. No propane. Fine. Whatever. Mom goes, now we can go to Tractor Supply. I hang my head in shame. We go to Tractor Supply. We decide to leave the propane tank in the car. We're just going to do it all at the register or whatever. As we're walking in, sign on the door. We do not have propane. Go, what the fuck? What the fuck? 938 is 47. Sorry. Sometimes I have to say it out loud loud because my brain's not recognizing it for some reason. And so we go in. My mom. I just let her go in. We do our shopping. My mom does her shopping and spends money she shouldn't have spent. Love you, mom, but it's the truth. You don't watch this video. You'll be fine. Holy, how many fucking things of 10? 301. Okay, it's only three. It's just 400 looks so close in color in this bad lighting. So, my mom spends $150 at Tractor Supply. If you've ever been to Tractor Supply after Christmas and got their, like, Christmas decorations and all that, you know $150 worth, you walked out like a fucking bandit. And she did. And so, we get in the car, and I go ahead and I order the Starbucks. This is 3.04 Georgia time. No, 3.07 Georgia time. 3.07 Georgia time. Hold on, I'm going to take a drink of coffee here. 3.07 Georgia time. It says, okay... Your three coffees will be ready at three three fourteen. That's the only reason I remember what time I ordered. Okay, so I smoke a cigarette before we leave the tractor to supply and go over to the 
uh, Starbucks because I knew Starbucks was going to be packed. I just had a feeling that was like, it's going to take seven minutes. Let's just, you know. So we go over there at 318. And I send my son inside. We find a parking space, which I won't even go into that debacle because the look on that girl when. Actually, I will. So as I pull into the Starbucks right next to the tractor supply in the Home Depot, okay? As I pull into the Starbucks, I have found a space and I am waiting for this girl to move so I can back into this space because I'm a, you know, I'm an explorer. I drive an Explorer, not I am an Explorer. So I drive an Explorer, so my vehicle's a little bit wider than her. She's got a tiny little car. Turns out I am blocking her from the same exact space. So finally, when I realized this girl wants my space, and I was here first, and she sat there and just skipped the entire line to come to this spot trying to get in, I cut it tightly, back up a little bit, and pull into the space. Like, no, 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 no. We're not going to do this. I didn't want to park this way, but now that you made me pull up way too far, I can make this work. You actually made it easier for me. Thank you. So I took my parking space. And then, so Josh went in. Josh went in so he could pick up all three coffees. And I sat there and played Pokemon Go because I'm a child. <laughs> oh, just because YouTube thinks I'm a child doesn't mean I'm not one sometimes. My mentality is low. So I'm playing Pokemon Go. 20 minutes later, Josh comes out, no drinks. I'm like, what the fuck? And he goes, they're just not. So I go in with him, and we go straight to the back wall where, like, the the coffee cups are and all that that they sell. My hair is hanging from my hand. So I go, and he goes, I didn't know you had to come back here. I was like, yeah, the front is for people who ordered there. The back over here specifically says mobile order. And he goes, you should have told me that. I bet. And I, there were no mobile orders there. And so, as the guy taught here, the guy that's working, only three people are working. Drive through is wrapped around the building and blocking off other buildings. And we're talking about this as part of a strip mall. So, the guy that's working hears me say that the, the mobile orders are over here. And so, we wait over here. And he goes, oh, what's your name? And I give him my name. And so, he, this guy continues to come check on me. And finally... He comes over and he goes, I have put your order. This is the 45-minute mark. My, I had ordered 45 minutes previously. The 45-minute mark, he comes over. He goes, I just put your order in priority. For some reason, there's been so many more mobile orders that you're still not on the list 45 minutes later. Okay? So I just put you in priority. And would you like a cake pop? And I go, yeah, he'll like a cake box. And so he got Josh a birthday cake, cake, that yeah, birthday cake, cake pop, and then gave me one too, which I ended up giving to my mother later. But so my mom comes in, she has to use the restroom, and then she sees the Been There series cups, which I have a bunch of them. I even have the Georgia one. And she goes, ooh. And she's the one who paid for hers and my son's coffee. Mine was free because I do the. Uh, Starbucks rewards, and I never leave money in my card because I found out that they use that as a banking system to move. Like, it's weird. I'm not even going into it. Anywho, so she wants this cup. She has to use the restroom. So I use her card, which is already stored in my stuff. And, you know, basically, I'm like the only person she would trust to save her card to their things, and it's, like, something we use very often, like Starbucks, when we go out of town. Out of town being Georgia. <laughs> Literally, five minutes away, or 45 minutes away. Anyway, so, I load $15, I get her the cup, the cup's $13, and some change. I don't remember exactly. It's $13 plus tax. But, I get the cup, and I go stand in line. And, as I'm standing in line, hers and Josh's come out. So my mom, or Josh, gets so situated. She comes out already. And she goes, what are we waiting on? And I go, mine. And she goes, well, you know what? Just don't worry about my cup. And I go, no, I'm already in this line. I've already reloaded the money. We're getting you your cup. And as I'm standing there, mine is ready. So they grab mine. They go, I told them, don't forget my straw, because that's important. And they head out. Now I'm still waiting there another 10 minutes. Because the family in front of me has decided they all want handcrafted drinks. And he goes, okay, it's going to be about 25 minutes. 
before your drinks are ready, there's a long queue on handcrafted drinks. Oh, the huff and the pup of this lady. It was hilarious. Like, yeah. Woohoo! Let's start the next process. Don't you like how I cut you off there? Remove my pen out of the way, my marker. We don't need this yet, so it can hold my marker. We're going to go through every one of these, and we're going to cut them and organize them into piles of ten. Like, leading zero, leading one, leading two, so forth and so forth. Five. Yep, and then scissor is a little too small, so give me a second. Scissor swap. We'll be using that later. Zoom! Like, and I try to keep them together, like these are two bags. Actually, usually when it's only two bags, I do separate them because one's going into the extra pile. So I don't have to worry about two. We're just going to throw it in there. And then I will still cut them separate. Anyway, so this late. So you had the mom, the dad, and like two young kids and a grown ass daughter. Like she's almost my age type grown ass. You know what I mean? Well, maybe not, but in her 20s. And she's like huffing and puffing because she didn't hear them. And she's like, I don't see what the big deal is. Da, 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 da. And she goes, fine, I'll just take a cake pop. Right? And the dad's like, look, I, I don't need handcrafted coffee. Like, is there a wait for drip coffee? And so, no wait for drip coffee. So, this guy, he goes, and because of how this family has, not the family, the one daughter had been, he goes ahead and he makes their entire order and then comes back to me. And I'm just laughing. I tell him, and by the time I was done, with, we were done with everything, I go, I hope you get a break soon. Because there was literally only three people working. I got back to the car at 418. That is one hour and 11 minutes after I did my initial order. You know, and I didn't pitch. I understood exactly what was going on because you can tell they were overpacked. The line was for the drive through was going crazy. I could have sat in that drive through and gotten to my coffee sooner, but I had already parked. I was already waiting, you know, no big deal. And when he sat there and offered me the cake pop, I was like, nah, nah, we're good. You were good. And Josh was like, uh, what? Uh, what? And I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll take a cake pop. You know, he went above and beyond to make sure and. I was being extremely patient because there's no reason, you know, it's the retail industry. What are you going to sit there and be? You know, or not retail, it's service industry. What are you going to do? I'm sorry, I need my shit now and fuck all the people who ordered before me? No. In fact, the, easy, the fastest way to get a drink is if you didn't mobile order and you had come in. And if I had realized that, I would have done that sooner. Because they had like two different queues. They had the mobile order queue. No, three different queues. They had the mobile order queue the drive through the queue, and the indoor queue, queue with how they were doing it that day specifically. I don't know how that normally is. I don't work at Starbucks. I don't have a job, in fact, at all. Okay, we need to move these. So this is single digits. This is 20s. Put it up there. I know y'all can't see it, but I'm a little overwhelmed right now. Let me try to make y'all see it all. I want to see it all. Sorry. Like, you can't even see the sixes up there. Okay. And now we have our first teen. So, that was a bit ridiculous of a wait. And after the fact, yeah, once I realized how long I spent in there, I did get annoyed. But I'm not annoyed at the business. You know, I'm not annoyed at Starbucks. And everybody's like, oh, but Starbucks is a school. Blah, 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 blah. You know what? Does that fucking matter what the comp the corporations like? Think about the people. You think that guy that was running around Starbucks like a chicken with his head cut off is the whole reason that my coffee was took forever to make? No. No. They're busy. They're understaffed. Nobody wants to work for them for one reason or another. People take the corporation and blame them for th and blame the store for things because that the corporation does. Like, they're the ones who did it, you know? It's it's just shitty. It's just shitty, you know? That's retail. That's service. I'm going to cut my finger. 
It did look like I was going to put my finger in it. Come on. I have a disaster going on here. I'm trying to... No, y'all didn't see that. Got all twisted. How long has that been blurry? I don't know. I apologize. Watch it be the entire video. And I won't be mad about it because... Are you really watching this? Can you really not make out what I'm doing? Cutting things up and putting them in piles? My arm is starting to hurt. It happens. In fact, when I'm done with the string, I'm going to take a quick break and come right back. For you, it'll be a matter of seconds. If that, me, it'll be a few minutes because... Sometimes I gotta give myself a break, and with how I'm feeling, I'd be better off instead of driving y'all crazy and bitching. I honestly think the thing that takes longest probably is organizing all the drills because of the way I do it. Other people would be like, okay, let's just start. And me, I gotta do the numbers, and then I gotta cut them out, and then I gotta figure out where they go, and then I gotta organize all that. And then, because I do washi tape, which I picked out of washi tape already. I do washi tape, then labels on everything, so that takes time. But that's going to be all part of the time lapse. You don't need to deal with that. 30. 40. Where'd that pile go? 48. See, look. I don't know why it's hurting me. I think it's because I'm stretching out of my way. I don't know. Or because there's a huge mess going on. Or I'm trying to keep it in a low bit. I don't know. I'm feeling a pain right here. It could just be me stretching the hand out. Like you could see me doing that just then. And the thing is, I'm going to have to separate, make sure all these are separate again. So I'm not too concerned with how messy the piles are. Okay. Give me one second, and I will be right back. It'll literally be a second for y'all. Okay, like I said, that was like nothing for y'all. But I feel better. That was a long break for me. Of course, my watch is already starting with me. On to the next one. You think I was going to just quit? No. We got a thing to finish. Ah. Oh. I just went looking all over the place for my caliper. If you don't know what that is, it measures the outside or the inside of things. I use it for crafting. I thought my husband needed it. And then he just ended up taking pictures and sending it to them. And they're like, oh, well, we don't have that part, but see if this fits. So the see if it fits method. At the same time, I'm, like, going through my entire craft room, or my studio, as I call it. Because I got my studio, because not only that, I do recordings. I plan on doing streaming in here and everything else. It's like a creative studio, for lack of a better term. And it's a disaster, because I have ADHD, and I have no self-control. And so, it gets a disaster quickly. And I'm in the process of trying to organize it, like, Blah, 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 trying to organize it, and I have all these shelves that I've bought I have, that aren't put together yet. I have these drawers I've bought that I haven't even received all of them yet. And right now I have a pile of tools in the middle of my floor because my husband and son used my tools, and my son didn't put them up. I guess he's the one who got them out. So... That's a disaster, and but they need to go in the shed in the back, and we're working on making it to where I can lock the shed, which I actually need to do a test to see if the Wi-Fi reaches the shed. I'm thinking about getting a Wi-Fi camera out there, you know? So it's like added security because all my power tools are in, and everything are going in there. I know that was way off to the side, me cutting this, but is it really important you see me cut the, the drill? And at the same time, I'm, like, falling because I'm dizzy. That's the main problem with me. Yes, I'm stuffy, but my biggest problem is I'm dizzy. And my mom thought my blood sugar was low. She says that's completely possible because you're not really wanting to eat because your throat hurts. So 
so maybe your blood sugar is low. And so I had a peanut butter cream pie that killed my throat. You know, those little Debbie's peanut butter cream pies. And that didn't really help. But there's, I don't know how much sugar is that. But I started drinking my coffee, which I um, had enough cream here where it's just like a shade darker than my skin. And then I, my headache started going away. I'm still a little bit dizzy, but my headache started going away. I don't know if it's that and the Tylenol. But I took the Tylenol hours ago. So I don't know. But my mom, she has the diabetes. And her blood sugar was high all day. And so she did one insulin. It still continued to go up. So she did her overtime insulin on top of that. And now her sugar's bottoming out, so I handed her a Coke. The only soda I like is Coca-Cola. Well, I'm sorry. That's wrong. I like stuff like IBC Root Beer and, you know, Stewart's Root Beer and Cream Soda and Big Red and Big Blue, which Big Blue is not sold in Alabama, so it fucking sucks. That's a, I guess it's only a Texas thing. I don't know. But... I'm not a big so uh, soda drinker. I am a coffee drinker. That's what I like. I like my coffees. And I should drink more water, but water is my like the only other thing I drink. Except for last night. Last night, I had to take my meds, and I didn't feel like making a cup of coffee. And I didn't feel like... That's 50. Sorry. And I didn't feel like... I couldn't open the box of Fiji water that I bought from Sam's Club. So I was like... What do I have in my mini fridge? And I had one bottle left of those little bottles of Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice. And I love cranberry juice, so I drank that. Would have been better with vodka, but I didn't say that. So, <laughs> so I drank that. Like, I like tea and stuff, but it's just, it just happens to be, I don't drink a lot of it. Uh, what I drink in over excess is coffee. You will always see me having coffee. And so I'm thinking about doing content around a cup of coffee. But considering I it takes me so long to drink a cup of coffee, that maybe that won't be a thing. Because I'm still in the same cup of coffee I'm on, I was on when I started this video. Oh, wow, I'm blind. I couldn't find the... Okay, this one's going to be easy because we got a bunch of things of 45, which is... 8.98, so we only cut one off of that, and put that in the 40s thing, move that into, oh, I'm going to need another box, and the same thing with, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve things of 310, hello 310, how you doing, y'all don't know what 310 is, it is the standard black, and that is 11, so that goes in that pile. And then all these go inside this case for now. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to change up my storage solution for my extras. We have a bunch of 9 to the 17, so let's get the 17 out. Throw it in there. The one nine, throw it in the pile. So yeah, this container... <laughs> That's overfilling right now. Was supposed to be for my more than 52 drills. But right now it's full of these. So I'm going to have to put these in a bag. But that's a whole other thing. We'll get to that later. My arms hurt from all that. Because they're heavy. And they get heavy after a time. So there's 71 colors. We'll start here. I just put them in order. So I put them off to the side. Next would be the 60s. Do, 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 do. 69, 68, excuse me, 67, 60 keeps wanting to fall, 66, 65, 64, 63, oh, 62 was hiding over here, 62, 61, 60, this is also how I make sure I have all the colors labeled right too. Sometimes I keep them in separate piles, but there's so many, I'm going to try to do like a half and half here. Let's go to the 50s. I'm going to move the teens out of the way. Thank you. I 
feel like I lost one or two in here. We'll find out. 59. 58. 57. 56. 55. 54. 53. 52, 51, and 50. Get in your pile. In our 40s. Back turning. 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44. Beautiful green. I love that green. Uh, 43, 42. 41 and 40. There's our first pile. Nope, we want 30s. And. That's 38 and 37. Where's 39? Why do I have two 38s? Oh, it's one of those ones that they separated strands. Let's throw that in there. 37. Oh, it's right in front of me. 36. 35. Another pretty green. 34. 33. 32. 31. And 30. Over here. Now we're at the 20s, which are merging with my singles. Spread them out. Figure it out. 29. 28. 27. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. In the pile. Come, my friend. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. See how this makes sense? 9, 8, 7, 9, 6, 5, 4, if I can get it, 3, 2, and 1. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why I make that noise so much. Okay. The next part is pretty tedious, and so most of it will be time-lapsed. So what we're going to do is not grab the ones with washi tape already on them. I don't want to do that. We're going to be grabbing these. We're going to be using this. Not that. This. And we are going to be cutting this washi tape down to a reasonable size. Come on, washi tape. Come on, washi tape! Sorry, I'm fighting the washi tape. There we go. Mm, that's kind of psychedelic. We're going to cut it down to a reasonable size. This is why I'm hurting. Grab our scissors properly and go... Not shake so much. Maybe I, my sugar is low. Anyway, then we're going to put it... And I like to wrap it slightly around. That's why some of them are so long, is me wrapping them around. See? And then we will put our one. I'll grab our thing here. These are perforated. We got our label. We put it on the best we can because for some reason my hand is like, I'm extra shaky right now. It could be the fact that I'm sick. It could be the fact that I'm sick that I'm extra shaky. Put that on to make sure we have, can see our symbol and it's not covered by the thing. I don't really don't care if the number is covered. And then we start, we grab our bag. Remember I said don't lose that bag? Or I didn't want to lose that bag? We grab our bag, it doesn't matter which one. We can put it off to the side right up right here. Hold on. Told you this lid comes off, makes it so much easier. We got our storage system. We got our label. And we got our thingy, my jigger, our thing. And we cut. Let me put that in there. Actually, 
I'm not going to use the other side this way. And it's really that simple how I set things up. And yes, in some cases, like in this one, you'll have the wash washi tape coming off. Just a little rub. Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame. It was coming off. And just a little rub. Make sure it stays on. If it doesn't, you can take some standard tape. Obviously, that piece was cut a little short. You just slide it in like that. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and time lapse this next part because this is 45 minutes in and y'all have dealt with me enough talking and I've run out of things to talk about. So I will see y'all here shortly. Um, enjoy the time lapse of me putting all the drills into all the containers. Yes. Go. Oh. I forgot to mention one little thing. You see this sitting here? This is an extra large dryer sheet. It's one of those ones for pet hair. They work great. That The reason why it's sitting off to the side is so I can try to reduce static if there is any static. Normally, the best way to do it um, that I have found is to have a dryer sheet laid out, pour them across the dryer sheet, rub them a little bit, and then dump them into a tray, into the tray. But since I have, it's an extra large piece, I can't really do that without making a huge mess. So with this, if you notice, it's already cut off. I just keep this in my tools, and as I need it, I cut them off. And when I'm kidding up, in this case, I leave it off to the side in case I need it. And you'll just cut a little rectangle, and you'll cut a little rectangle. What I do is I wipe the... If I'm having static, I will try to get it in there and push it and wipe a little bit. And if not, I will get it in there, close it up, and shake, shake. But yeah, that's the one thing I forgot to mention. So now, we're getting into the time lapse.
two hours and some static later. We have a full bag of trash here. That, yeah. And some plans for change along the way. I have a trash can right next to me. Just throw it in there. But remember how I said this was a little full? Well, I decided not to try to fit the extra drills in with all here. So we have three full containers now. But I did go through all my things. And I found my masking tape, too. So I can actually do this right. What is this? This is magic potion. Give me a second. We'll get this cut. I like sharp edges. And whoever used my masking tape before. You see how it's all dirty? They dropped it on the floor. Actually, it looks like they dropped it on the floor in the laundry room. That looks like Flint. Yeah. Good thing masking tape is like cost pennies because I am going to replace that. I really am. Because that's the way I am. That bothers me. Oh. I have some pretty. Let's do that again. About the same length. Cut it off. I was doing a guessing game at this point. It took a long time. Um, I lost power a couple times because my so my kid unplugged the surge protector that TV's plugged in in the other room, and they thought a fuse popped or a breaker popped. And my husband decided to play guessing game, and he did this room twice, which this room is the only room labeled, so there was no reason to do it. Yeah, so it took even longer. That's why this video is going up so late tonight. But luckily, for y'all, by the time you'll actually look at this, to be honest, let's see. How'd it go? Just like that. So you can see exactly how I do this. Nice. So by the time y'all actually see this, most likely it's during the day, whatever your time zone is. I don't suit all time zones, and I usually like to record or have it ready to go to be uploaded at 8 a.m., but since I didn't have a video out for today, this one's coming out today on the 27th, I believe. Computer, what's today's date? It's Tuesday, December 27th. Tuesday, December 27th. We'd ask at the time, but why would I do that? Just so I can laugh about how late it is? Because I still have to transfer all the files, because it does it 20 minutes at a time. So I need to transfer all the files that it made, and then do the time-lapse editing, and make a thumbnail, and all that. So it will be out tonight, it'll be like sort of like Vlogmas is, where it's probably going to be past midnight, but I still consider it for today's video, and that's just no big deal to me. I decided not to be anal about that because at least there's videos coming out within, you know, time zone of each other. So that's why I'm not too mad about it. And I do have more plans for other videos, and I will get onto that once we finish this one. Yeah, probably while the file transfer is going. So that's how, you know, that's how I label things. When, even if I wasn't going to do it, yeah, that was like the wrong colors that I found. So... Even if I wasn't going to do it immediately, I know that these drills, this kit up, belongs to this kit. Like, if you notice, since I don't have this filled out, I will cut this all out with my guillotine cutter to make it fit on my, um, 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 sorry, <laughs> make this fit in my logbook. And then the extra, I don't know what I'm going to do with the extra one. But I will cut all that out with my guillotine cutter. And it'll go in there. Sorry, remember how I said that'll make it hard to close, putting them in there? Well, I did it that way. This one, I don't need this washi tape in there. I gotta go put it back in the other container. Which, I... That container's not closing right now. Because I overstuffed it. But I wanted to redo all that storage anyway. Instead of having it all thrown in. So I'm not too mad about it. Like, I might have to redo how these are laying in there, because it's bolting. But look at that. <sighs> it's like no, I don't want to close. But I'm all set up. Not all set up. I'm almost set up for magic potion. I got to do the 
washi tape, but I think I'm going to do one column at a time and do top to bottom, left to right, because and because it's going to have to be sideways on my table. I think very similar to how I showed the ABs in the unboxing video. Well, that's good to know. Did you know that if you tilt it on its side like this, it's easier to press these down? Hmm. We learned something together. So, I want to thank you all for hanging out with me during this Kid Up and Chat. And I hope to see you in the next video. If you liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up. If you continue to like my content and you want to keep up with everything I have rolling out, there's a subscribe button down below. If you have any questions, maybe about the tools I use, like these containers and all that, just leave a comment down below. If you just want to talk about anything, comment section is always open. I am going to get out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. You all have a wonderful time zone. Bye.